Hi, Green Panda here, and this is my first experiment for my Twitch stream. I wanted to record myself using traditional art and then digital and go back and forth. And thanks to Twitch every time on on. And thanks to Twitch every time on on. Thanks to Twitch every time I'm on, it's always on a Tuesday. So it's like an enforced routine. Even if no one comes on Twitch yet, as I've just started, it's fine. Because thanks to Twitch you can download content, I always worry that I don't have enough space so at least this way it's going to be saved externally and it's still on the internet in some shape or form, so win-win. I got a new camera so now my setup is all messed up, but oh well. This was a test to experiment with this type of paper to see how it handles watercolour. I pretty much used the line art from a Disney colouring book. What's so terrible is that it's kind of hard to find artists that work on Disney merchandise such as books, dolls and even colouring books. They never get like, they never give credit, and yet the Disney artists for merch I really want to follow. I wonder why that is. The paper I'm using is Arteza E5 Mixed Media. I've tested Quopic and currently testing it the watercolour. I got a set of free for $70.99. Also, the other video when I was bitching about Aquafine, turns out it was only a fiver and was actually pretty cheap. I blame my mum though because, like, she was getting up for my birthday and she said, This is too expensive. I didn't look at the price and I just bought it and I just assumed it was expensive paper because she was going on and on about it. So, my bad. I really need to be aware of what I'm buying. Uh, this paper though, it was a bit finicky when I laid down colours. It felt as if the paint wasn't sticking to the brush. So I'm blaming the brush, not the paper. And at points I was worried that the paper was going muddy and just ruining vibrant colours because it got to the point where the paper was kind of pooling and all the browns got together and started making it look like, ugh, oh well, whatever. And so I, I had to change my technique and I messed up on the leaf I placed a hook as green instead of a viridian. Big difference, it made it way too dark for what I was going for. But the paper can lift colours so I was able to fix my mistake and when it dried it was perfect other than wrinkly paper which can't be fixed. This paper was actually perfect for watercolour. I already practiced cut markers on this too and it was fine. I just need to use acrylic, I'll get there eventually. But yeah, uh, everything was able to be put down properly. It's a bit messy, but I think that's my bad because I didn't erase the pencil marks. So I had to like, yeah, and I didn't start with the skin and go outwards and do my usual routine when I colour the watercolors to begin with. I think I kind of try to go for the messy approach where I lay down on my flats first and then I go in, which was something I never usually do, which was why this came out a bit more messier. As in the details when I came, like it got to the point where the face and the hair was the only thing that turned out okay, where the background, her dress and everything wasn't that great. But oh well, the whole point is to experiment, so yeah, I'm gonna keep trying watercolors until I make them by bitch. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I definitely recommend Artie's that I'm starting to like this boo. Well, if that is, if you guys like spiral bound covers. Well, see you in the next video. Bye!